Hello Scorpio, welcome to Monarch Intuition and today I'm going to be doing your July 2022 mid-monthly check-in reading for you. So what do we need to know for the sign of Scorpio? What's going on for you? If you're new to my channel, what I like to do is I like to pull one major arcana to see the energy and then clarify with the different decks. So what's going on for the sign of Scorpio? What do we need to know for you? We have judgment. All right. So the superpower of the fire sign. So this is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius energy. This is basically the rapture, right? This is the day of judgment. The angels coming out of the sky, blasting their trumpets, and everyone in their gripes rising up into the heavens, right? However, what you have to understand is that not everyone is going to be rising up into heaven. There will, there will be people who are left on earth who are going to face the final judgment. And you have to understand tarot is very biblical because once again, tarot was started. Tarot, not cartomancy, but tarot started in Italy. So you have to really look at it from the Catholic perspective sometimes, right? So are you going to be someone who's going to be left behind? I'm not talking about on like a religious level. Or, or are you going to ascend to something new? Are you um, blocked off to your own ascension right here? Because if you stay within a cycle, the universe judges you for staying in that cycle again and again. And the judgment becomes harder each time. So when you fail a test within your life that the universe gives you, it can make you repeat that same cycle. And the cycle becomes harder and harder and harder each time you have to repeat it. Some people can pass their tests really easily and they receive enlightenment and they just move on with their lives. And some people just cannot do that. But the judgment can also be like, you know, justice delivering a judgment. So anyway, I'm going to pull three cards from the Revelations Tarot. This deck does have reversals in it. And we're going to see what this judgment energy is. Why is judgment here for Scorpio? Seven of Swords, Ace of Wands, and the Strength card. I kind of feel like someone was able to steal an opportunity from you within your life right here. Someone could have stolen a promotion. Someone could have stolen something right out from under you. I kind of feel like it was because you were not paying attention to the situation because the reason that the seven of swords, the reason that the person gets away is because everyone was sleeping, right? So this person steals the opportunity with the ace of wands. Now, here's the thing. It is yours with the strength energy. So here's the thing, this person receives judgment for this, okay? Or you receive judgment and are made to repeat a certain cycle within your life. But deep energy, a new opportunity, and the strength card represents solid foundation, solid work. So someone could have like taken your solid work right here, and then this person is receiving judgment, but let's clarify, why is the Seven of Swords here? What do we need to know about the Seven of Swords? We have the Ten of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. Someone took an opportunity from you. It's almost like there were two people involved in a situation. It would almost be like if this person, after, if you look closely, there are two beggars on this card, and this man is giving money to this beggar. It'd be like if this beggar attacked him and took his money and got away with it. That's what this situation is. Ace of Wands energy, we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, yeah, balanced out, hard work. I feel like it happens to be at a work scenario. Strength card, King of Swords, the Queen of Wands. Someone could be representing you. Someone is very, very strong and powerful in what they do right here. Someone could represent you with this. This could be a lawsuit.
this is Aries energy. This is Aquarian energy. Queen of Wands is Aries. King of Swords is Aquarian. The Chariot. The Ten of Cups. It makes you very happy. You receive the justice that you need. You receive the judgment on the positive end of the spectrum. Even if things don't seem to be going and working out for you right here, even if it seems like they got away with it, they really didn't. Like, I see that you're ultimately happy in the end with this Ten of Cups. Nine of Swords, you're anxious with this devil energy. I feel like the devil is plaguing you with anxiety. Here's the thing. What I'm feeling for you right now, Scorpio, is that you feel like you don't deserve justice within your life or deserve to be happy because maybe you've done bad things in your life as well, okay? Maybe you've done bad things in your life and you're scared for someone else to receive karma when they've wronged you because, you know, that could have just as easily been you. I feel like that's the problem with Scorpios is that they don't feel like they deserve to receive good karma to them because maybe, Scorpio, you have a, a toxic trait of putting out bad energy into the world. But here's the thing. That's part of the balance right there, Scorpio, is that Scorpios tend to live a harder, sadder life than most people. But I feel like this negative energy is from the devil. The devil is plaguing you because maybe you've done something bad within your life and you're scared of your dirty laundry being aired out. And so I kind of feel like this situation is someone's dirty laundry is getting aired out and you capitalize off of this, but ultimately you're kind of scared that of receiving this good wealth, good karma right here because of what you've done in your past. Three of cups, yeah. Three of swords. Yeah. You don't want to raise your cup up because you're always scared of sadness. You don't want to be happy because you're afraid that if you're happy, the tower will fall on you. You don't want to receive good karma because of all the possible bad karma you've put out there. The Four of Cups, yeah, the thing is you don't want to accept happiness. I pulled it out over the Chariot and the Ten of Cups. You don't want to receive happiness because you're truly scared. But here's the thing with the Black Cat at the Queen of Wands feet. Black cats don't always have to symbolize bad luck. They symbolize independence and fortune it meets opportunity. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. You deserve to be happy right here, Scorpio. You deserve it. Like, I don't, I don't know how karma will play out within your life, Scorpio, because I kind of feel like, you know, if you do something bad, bad things happen to you, right? You do something good, good things happen to you. Doesn't always have to be, you know... You receive karma for that situation. You can receive negative karma and say a relationship. Someone gets one over on you. Someone really hurts you. So you paid off the bad karma because of a bad relationship, right? I feel like you deserve the good karma right here. You deserve this good judgment in your favor because this King of Swords is helping you. This King of Swords is very enlightened. He's a very strong, intellectually sound person, right? This is kind of your energy because it's Aries energy. And I always say Aries and you co-rule the tower. I feel like you have a lot of, you pull from Aries energy a lot. That's why they say Scorpio is like an honorary fire sign. And I feel like all fixed signs pull energy from the previous fixed sign. So like Leo pulls like that vanity energy from Taurus because Taurus is Venusian. It's all about, you know, Lucifer and beauty and wealth and things like that. And that's kind of what Leo is cursed with is, you know, vanity. So I feel like this is, honestly, it's supposed to be for you. Yeah, the fool. It's a great reset within your life. You paid off all of your karma. I feel like you feel like you haven't, though. But here's the thing is you have. This is, this is brand new. This is a new cycle for you. You've paid off all your debts to the universe. Now, 
the universe is basically reimbursing you from the debts that have happened to you. Here's the thing, don't screw this up for yourself, Scorpio. What else is going on for Scorpio? What else do we need to know? The Fool coming out over the Devil with the Nine of Swords. Yeah, you don't have any reason to be anxious about receiving this blessing because I feel like you've already paid off all your karmic debts or all of your debts to society, whatever it is. This card fell out? Yeah, Four of Swords. You can be at peace with this. You're supposed to be at peace with this. The Page of Cups, let your cup be filled up right here. You have the Ace of Cups coming out. You have the Four of Cups. Take the cup and be happy with it. Be at peace with this blessing. The Emperor, Aries energy coming up. It's given to you from a much higher source. You can't be scared of this because it's being basically given to you from like, you know, Someone of very, very high status. Could be a CEO, could be, you know, the head of a company, well, which would be a CEO. The head of, you know, like a justice system. Someone who's made it to the top. But they deem you worthy for whatever this is. Three of Wands, just wait and re receive. The Sun, yeah. You're scared, though. I can't. Here's the thing, Scorpio. Everyone's scared of something in their life. Everyone's got skeletons in the closet. Everyone has problems, right? However, if you do a lot of good things, and you suffer a lot of bad things, which I feel like you have, and you've paid them off, and you've done whatever you had to do, then, okay. I kind of feel it's more like a stress disorder at this point. You always feel like something negative is going to happen because of maybe the negativity you've put out, but I feel like you've already paid it off. So here's something positive coming your way and you're thinking like, oh my gosh, what if I get the negative karma of all these bad things I've ever done within my life? Well, well you have the fool coming out, so I don't think you will. Because I think it's already done. Let me get you a couple of spellcasting oracles. You got the sun coming for you. Illumination, happiness, ten of cups, chariot, victory, great victory. Confidence, move forward with confidence and well-being. Your well-being is assured right here. It's your, it's a stress problem. I'm not a psychologist, psychiatrist, whatever. I'm not trying to diagnose you. I just feel like right here, I think maybe you just have like mixed... I'm not going to say it's minor, I'm not going to say it's major, I just feel like you have anxiety. Like, and it doesn't have to be like diagnosed anxiety, it could just be like whenever this certain thought comes into your head, you have that problem. But I don't see it being the issue. I don't see any of that, whatever it is, being an issue right here. I feel like you receive a very happy, powerful blessing. The sun's here, you deserve this. Someone could be fighting for you, even if someone tries to take it away, no, it's yours, be at peace. Your well-being is assured. Even she's laying down underneath the moonlight, just like this person is laying down underneath the moonlight. Spider, deception, ant cooperation. I want to pull a couple of cards for this deception energy. Why is this deception here? fortune the chariot wheel of fortune in the chariot someone could have thought they got away with something the tables turn on them this is yours you receive the sunlight in the end you have a victory the tables will turn even on a situation that you deemed completely hopeless you have the cooperation i feel like cooperating with this king of swords right here pull two cards for him prince of grails 
the Ace of Knives. This person is very, very sharp and Piscean energy coming out with the air energy. So someone who can peer within like the mysteries, but find and pinpoint exactly what's wrong. Okay. So this person is very, so once again, think of like an attorney, kind of like a mystic or a wizard, right? They have all these books and they have a problem, right? And they're peering through all their different books, trying to unbind a spell because a contract is basically a spell. You put your name on it, you sign a contract, you're bound to it, right? And I feel like an attorney is kind of like a wizard who has to unbind this or seeing deeply into something that is bound and trying to unfuck you, if that makes sense. I feel like they're doing it though. Let me get you a couple of Halloween Oracle cards. Did I already pull these? No, I didn't. Okay. Night Song, Hidden Talents, Death, The Eternal Cycle Begins Here. With this Hidden Talents energy and this Death energy, maybe you have an ability to speak to spirits that you don't talk about. Maybe you're helping a spirit and the spirit is going to reward you in the end. Now that's spir very spiritual. However, what I'm seeing right here is that there are always going to be this bumps in your life, Scorpio, where you feel this ang anxiety, this, oh my gosh, I wish I was dead. Oh no, I don't want to deal with this right now. You're always going to feel that. But here's the thing, your hidden talents is always being able to turn the tables at the last second. Because you have to think, when Libra casts Scorpio to hell and Virgo into heaven with Leo, Scorpio still made the best of the situation, right? Or into the underworld. Scorpio made the best out of the situation. And ended up being very happy in the end. So, it's not a curse, it's a blessing. You have the sun card because here's the thing at the end of the day everything on the sun card will die and meet its own death the child riding on the white horse both of them will die the sunflowers in the background will fade away and die sun will fade away and die everything so i kind of feel like this is the last moment you win tables turn really quickly it's a hidden talent for you scorpio get you a couple of rune cards. Therisaz, thorn, protection, barriers, pride, and self-deception, spiritual meaning, destruction, and rebirth, inner truth, and false ego. Let your ego fall away. Let this person help you. Let whatever the situation is actually come to your aid. Don't try to wear a false mask. Don't use pride and self-deception to block yourself off from this. You have a lot of protection and barriers put up, and I kind of feel like that's one of your main flaws right here is that you're not allowing yourself to be vulnerable to the sunlight. Here's the thing about Aquarius energy. Aquarius is ruled by the stars, right? Or the star. What is the sun? It's its own star. So this person might be very cold and calculating in the way that they think things through. So don't get into your feelings about that. Be very open with them. However, what you have to understand is that the stars also bring illumination. They bring a larger illumination to help you realize how insignificant the sun is. To help you realize how insignificant your own false ego and your own ego is. Because there's so many other stars out there bigger than the sun. Rado. Speed your journey, ease a transition, aid communication, bring good news and find your spiritual way. This communication with this cooperation, very important for you. Ease a transition. This person is put into your life to help ease you into a new situation. 
I feel like they're going to have very sharp communication with you. So don't get your feelings in the way and don't let your pride. Like, you know, sometimes people want information. They don't want to go around in circles, right? They want to know what they want to know. Equanimity. Divine Matrix. These cards are upside down. I shuffled them improperly. Hold on. Let me get you one more. La Luna. Pay attention to the moon cycles right here. With this divine matrix, what you need to understand that this is very important to your process within your life. It's exact. It's supposed to play out exactly this way right here, right now. Okay, Scorpio, understand that. This situation has to be balanced out at the moment in this divine matrix at this point, whenever it actually balances out for you. You're going to meet the right person at the right time in this situation. You're going to have victory. Tables will turn at the right moment. Equanimity is like basically finding the balance, traveling the straight and narrow path, trying to find the harmony within a situation. Understand that for yourself, Scorpio. Okay? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this reading, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh, if I can turn this off. There we go. Bye.